What's good everybody, SG Scouts here. We're taking a look at Kyle Hamilton today, possibly the top player in this year's draft. But before we get into it, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of him in the comments, and also let me know which player you want to see in the next film session. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Now in my last video on Jalen Petrie, I spoke about how the safety position has lost some value, but hybrid players like Petrie are still very valuable to defenses because they allow them to disguise their coverages. Now Hamilton is just a freak athlete. You can consider him a hybrid or you can just consider him a full-on stud. I mean 6'4", 220 with ridiculous mental processing. He's just a guy who plays a lot faster than every other player on the field. And Notre Dame used him to his full capabilities. Right here, they're going to drop into a cover three. However, they're showing cover two pre-snap and Kyle Hamilton is going to sneak into the box. Now North Carolina theoretically has a good play call running some slants over the middle. There should be a weak spot there. But when you have a guy like Hamilton, you can cover the slot, or you can cover a slant over the middle from 20 yards out. I mean, ridiculous range. Like I said, covering a slant from 20 yards deep down the field, that's some top five talent right there. North Carolina's got a three by one formation. Kyle Hamilton's playing deep, but it looks like Notre Dame was expecting, or at least covering for the inside zone as they have the boundary front. Three tech is to the weak side of the field. But North Carolina's offensive line is going to do a good job right here. And Hamilton is responsible for the backside B-gap. But he's playing so deep that it's actually a tough responsibility for him. But star players make plays. And Kyle Hamilton just makes a ton of plays. Inside zone right here. Blocked there. And you see Hamilton 10 yards down the field. But the click and close ability is ridiculous. And he just closes off that run play so efficiently. Here's a short clip against the run again. Now, if you're a fan of a team with bad safeties, you can understand the feeling of when the running back gets past your linebackers and you just know it's going to be a 50-yard run. An underrated part of the safety position is cutting off those long runs. You know, they get a lot of fame for picks and whatnot, but a guy like Kyle Hamilton consistently takes good aim and just has that clicking close speed, like I mentioned. Great athleticism and is able to cut off this run when it really did not look good at first and consistently cleans up just like that. We've seen what he can do when he's playing deep, but when he's blitzing, he's also a monster. He's a shotgun offense's worst enemy just because how quick he is off the snap and just recognizing the concept. Right here, another outside zone. Hamilton gonna knife through there on the blitz behind the linebacker. Just a straight missile and cuts this run for a loss. Just ridiculous range. Alabama's gonna motion that weak side receiver to the strong side on a fake screen. And that responsibility goes from one safety to the other, who is Kyle Hamilton. But Alabama, this is actually a pretty good play call with the fake screen. And then they're going to run a wide fade with that slot receiver. Hamilton does an amazing job and ends up covering basically two routes at once. Stays disciplined and then just has the range to recover on this play and get a great pass breakup. And on this final play, he's going to show some crazy pre stamp recognition. He sniffs out this wide receiver reverse pitch so quickly and just look at when he starts this pursuit he's at full speed before the pitch even starts and then he has that toughness tenacity stays involved in the play and ends up with the tackle showing off the toughness and showing off the mental processing now to get my final thoughts on kyle hamilton summarize what we learned in today's video i think his talent is undeniable definitely worth a top five pick like i said he just moves faster than other players He's built special, elite, elite talent, and I think he'll quickly become an all-pro. He's basically the Kyle Pitts of this year's draft. It's just very hard to see him not succeed at a very high level in the NFL. The only issue could possibly be injuries, but besides that, just complete stud. I would pick him in the top five. That's what I think of him. You guys let me know what you think of him in the comments down below. Before the draft comes, I will reveal my true player rankings. And you guys will see if I actually think Kyle Hamilton is the number one player in this draft. But until then, that's all for now. And yeah, man, I'm out.